true darkness is only there. So if you can't stand the heat, stay away from the fire. <laughs> Nation, I am the Commish coming to you live as always from Hardcore Challenge Live Studios. And shit, I know you're a little into it, little whatever, man. You we're celebrating, so let me give you some directions to where you can find us in the future. All right, hey, we're just down the street past the house with the boarded up windows. Make sure you stop at the corner and ask my man Joe. He's a gentleman, he's a scholar. But he's a man of commerce, so if what you should, he'll point you in the right direction. He'll tell you to take a left, and then a right. And as you find yourself strolling down the damn street, minding your goddamn business, a cool breeze hits you, that chills you right to your skeletal core, and you find yourself asking, was that the autumn wind? You goddamn right. Should you venture down that deep, dark alley? Well, of course you should, because what you're going to find at the end is a special little place that we like to call... Deep behind the enemy line. This is the Raider Reaction Week 9 post game reaction. I watched it. You watched it. Shit, Raider J, an Arden Key sighting and a Marcel Aitman sighting all in the same fucking game and at crucial points of the game. I, I'm just. It was. It was as close to a must-win game as you can have at this point in the season. You were right there. You were on the verge of going to 4-4 four and four and being deep in the conversation as a playoff contender, or you dropped to 3-5 and five and fell off, and nobody was talking about you anymore. Starting Monday morning, it would, the Raiders' talk was silent if you lost this game. This was big. This was a big game and a big moment, and we got it done, man. We got it done. Both sides stepped up. The one thing that I can say is there was a point in the fourth quarter, early in the fourth quarter, and I looked at my son and I said, all right, right here, the Raiders are going to go down and score. We're going to go up by seven. We stopped him. We got the ball back. Right then, that right there is the difference between 
really, really upper echelon teams and just good teams. And that's where we've got to make the adjustment is right there. Because right there, you take that ball, you go down and score, you're now up by two, and that fucking game's over. You just took the wind out of their sails, you were stepped on their throat, and that game's over. Never even gets to the type of sh the shit that we had to deal with there at the end. So that's where we've got to take that next step as a team. But today was a big, big fucking win. A big win. We grinded it out. We, we stayed in it. We gutted it out. And... Fucking lions, you kitty table dwelling motherfuckers, you're gone. Send your bitch asses back to Detroit with your fucking. Oh man, you, you, there's so many problems in Detroit. It's it's unfortunate they have such a shitty fucking football team too. See ya. So long, sucker. In your face, sucker. Thank you for playing. Now, reboot Thursday night. Here we come. Here we come. Four and four. Everybody was doubting everything. See, Raider Nation, well, a bunch, bunch of fickle bitches. Half of them, I swear to God. One week it's, you know, you're bipolar. Something. One week it's, you know, catastrophe, and one week it's the stars. So this week we're four and four, and everybody should be happy because that was a big win. That was a big win. That was a pivotal point in this season right there. That was a statement game that says, hey, we want to be in the conversation. We want to play in the tournament. We want to be there. Statement game. Said, we're not ready for the conversation of 2019 to be done yet. We're ready to continue this. Because you've lost today... Three and five. When you had the Texans went in, moving to six and three, and, and the other teams, the Bills winning again. When you had all these teams that that you're chasing in the wild cards winning, you got to keep pace. This was a huge win, huge win. Chokers, we're coming for that ass, you sparkler motherfuckers. We're coming for that bitch ass Thursday night. So you better get ready. Powder up your fucking powder blue, dust that shit off, whatever fucking bitch ass fucking blue and yellow shit you're gonna wear. Be ready. Thursday night. Be ready. Because the black hole is gonna be humming. It's gonna be prime time. We're about to go to five and four. We're about to take that step. It says, hey, the silver and black is back. And we're here to claim the West, motherfuckers. Big win. Big win. I'll see y'all tomorrow night. I'm out. Peace, love, Raider Nation!